Hello and welcome everyone. Hope you're doing well. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to use the Arduino IDE with this library. So there's been some file changes. I'll show you what I mean in a second. First thing we're going to do is download the library. Once the library is downloaded, we're going to unzip the file. I've already done so. And let me just drag it into screen. We'll find inside the main file there's two sets of inner files, one for VS Code and Platform IO. In which case, once you've created your project files, you copy and paste all these files in and you end up replacing the existing library and source file that would have existed in the initial template when you create your project. Additionally, now we have Arduino file and what we're going to do is we're going to copy this out. Once copied, we're going to open this file up and inside we've got a fresh libraries folder with the required libraries that runs this. We've got tools folder that helps with the upload and we've got the sketches folder. So I've put up a starting sketch which contains all of the website data files and the starting sketch itself. So let's open this up. So once this is opened up, all we have to do is make sure in the preferences section the selected location for your sketchbook is the folder you're working in, which in this case is the Arduino sketchbook. Once that's the case, make sure under tools you can see this option. If you can't and you've just made a change in the preferences, what you'll have to do is just close this and open this again. And then hopefully you'll see this. This is what uploads the data folder files and then we can use this to upload the conventional sketch. So what we'll do first is we'll press, we'll upload the data folder and we'll upload it via little fs. Once that upload is done, we will then upload the sketch itself. Once uploaded, everything should be working. You can go into your mobile device, go into settings, find, well, the default settings would be find the Wi-Fi ESP32 web. You click on it, a hotspot pops up where you can put in your password. Your, um, you can select the SSID and just configure the settings from there. So I'd refer you to my first tutorial on YouTube, which would take you through which files require changing to make changes so that you can have different designs for your Wi-Fi manager. So I'll briefly just run you through which files you might want to change. First one would be within the data file the CSS file, the logo file, and the favicon file, I suppose. That those would make changes in terms of design, in terms of the text and the values, and how the library operates, you'd want to change within the libraries. You want to change this library file, and it's the I'm not really sure which one it is. Let me just open both. And you can open with any text editor uh, or code editor, and it should work fine. I've opened a VS Code, and it's a .cpp file. And within there, I just drag this a bit further out. It's this section here, which is user configurable. And I, again, refer to my first tutorial on to see what these settings would do. Having said that, there is some description on the file itself. If you've got any questions, let me know. And if you want a tutorial on how to use VS Code and Platform.io, let me know then as well. All right, guys, take care.